Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, right off the bat, I'm a little bit under the weather today, so excuse me if you hear any snuffles or sneezing or, you know, your general sick man voices. Um, this is the second part of the software review for the Sprint HTC Hero. This is going to get into messaging, into IM, email, you know, all the little knickknacks that come with the smartphone that you would need to stay in touch with everybody whether you're not when you're not on the phone that is um one okay so the most common thing used on a phone these days besides calling is of course texting and being that this is a smartphone it should have some kind of neat little features that would set it apart from the average dumb phone or feature phone and thanks to htc and android it does so let's get into our messaging application Uh, went into the keyboard settings there by accident. Okay, so you take into this very beautiful, very organized, elegant messaging application that HTC has skimmed on top of Androids. And let me show you the little, nifty little features. So it's threaded messaging. You get your full conversation that you've had with this person from beginning to end. It is separated by date. So not only do you get your full conversation, but you get to see when it is you had that conversation. Okay, on top of that, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. You also get your MMS, your MMS messages on this same application. On other phones, you have to dig into a picture mail client or picture mail application to look into it. On this, it's all in one neat organized place. So that is very nifty. That is your message. So the email on this device, out of the box, I have to say, is a very wonderful experience. I've tested email on one of those mobile devices, I've had email on other Android devices, and I have to say, out of the box, meaning without downloading any applications from any Android market or any Windows marketplace or anything like that, I really haven't found any other phone that beats the HTC Hero in that sense. Let me show you why. So first off is your G your push Gmail. For most of you people that do not know what push email is, push email means it's directly connected to a server, and whenever that server receives the email, it automatically gets pushed out to you. So it's instant email. It's as if it was on your computer. And push Gmail on any Android device really is amazing. So yeah, Gmail is very beautiful, very, very finely tuned. But it pretty much is the same all across the board on Android devices. And there's nothing wrong with that. Why would they change it? It's perfect. Or close to perfect anyways. So what starts to set the HTC here apart from all the other Android devices as far as email goes is their email client. So let me show you really quick. Okay, so first off, when you set up an email account here with your email client, you can put in a POP3 email or IMAP or you can set up a Microsoft Exchange account. Now, what that is, is basically push mail for Microsoft. Same as, I'm imagining this works the same as the Gmail does or as Blackberry's push email service does, but with Exchange. I really don't use Exchange. I have an account, but really uh, I prefer the, the other email clients. But it's there for all you business users and all you people that do li love Microsoft services, it's there for you. Okay, and then of course your pop three email accounts. So I have Yahoo set up online. As you can see, I shop at Foot Locker. And I'll show you that email. So HP sent me uh, a little offer. You can see it's full HTML. I can get the remaining 10 kilobytes of this if I want. So I can see the whole message, but you know, I don't really need to. But I want you guys to see, this is full HTML. It's not just text with pictures x dot and everything it's a very nice email experience when you get out of that you can get more messages this will dig into the server and get the rest of the close to 850 messages i have on that server you can tell this is skimmed by htc because of the touchflow-esque menu system here as you can see you can view just the attachments you can view your whole conversations so people that you email on a regular basis they email you back and email them back this will look a lot like the threaded messaging view that it does in the message and the text messaging, but with emails. And you're received, which is that folder right there. 
So that's very nifty, very elegant. I love it. You can see it tells you when you have a new message that you have unread. I wish Gmail did it out of the box. There is a way to go into the Android market. You can download something, I think it's like a dollar. And it will show you an icon there when you have email. But you know it doesn't happen out of the box. And like I said, I'm going to show you what happens out of the box. Of course, when you do get an email, it will tell you here. And you can always go, oh hey, you know I got an email and click into it. But you know, I like having these little icons here. It looks nice. But, other thing that comes out of the box with um, HTC Hero is this email widget. This is part of HTC Sense. This is their whole customizability, make it mine, thing, ad campaign they have out there. And really, it it's beautiful. You don't have to dig into the application like I did earlier. You can just go to your widget, see, that's the first email in my inbox, see most of the email. You can from here delete the email, you can write another message, you can look at the listed view and you can scroll through your emails. Very nifty. So, if text messaging and email is not enough for you, you want to stay even more connected with your friends, then you have IM, or the IM client. So this is a stock IM client that comes out of the box of the HTC Hero. Let's open it up here. And here we are. So you have support for Yahoo, you have support for Windows Live, you have support for Yahoo Messenger. Did I say Yahoo or did I say AIM? AIM, boy. AIM, uh, AOL. And let me show you what it looks like when you actually dig into it. So I'm logged into my AIM account. I really don't use AIM, so I only have like nine buddies on here. Let's go into conversations. Let's go into this dude's conversation. All I said was sup. Um, but yeah, you get a threaded view. You see when it's sent, the date. You have a little background there that shows you you're on AIM. And you get notifications in your notifications bar when you do receive messages. As you can see there, it's telling me I'm logged in. Next, and on yeah. the list, if I am is not enough for you, if email is not enough for you, if messaging is not for you, if you're that kind of person that needs to know what's going on 24-7, you know, borderline stalker, <laughs> you, of course, have Twitter and you have Facebook. Both of these come fully integrated out of the box on your phone. Let me show you the Twitter client. So this is this little thing here called Peep. You log in and everything, and it sets up. It'll refresh for you. You can have this set to refresh in the background, though it is a little extra draw on your battery. But like I said, the, the battery on this device is, it's not the best out there, but it's enough to get you through a day at least. I at least charge my phone every night, so for those of you that say, well, I don't want to charge my phone, and I'm like, well, why not? It's not like you're going to, you're just sleeping. Why not have it charging? So very rich Twitter client shows you your people that you're subscribed to. You can write what you are doing. I will say I am doing a review video. And I'm going to update. I'm going to get into more about the keyboard later on. But as you can see, it works very well. And that's my little Twitter thing right there. Do subscribe. You know, you'll get the, the know-how ASAP. You don't want to put up a new video. And then you can go check it out. Okay, so you have your little TouchFlow ASK interface. All tweets. You can look at your at reply mentions. So this guy said thank you to me because I tipped him on some news. You have your direct messages and you have your favorites. Okay, let's hear the kind of person, you know what, I don't want to have to dig into it. I don't want to have to constantly update it and all these little menus and stuff. Well, my friend, for you, let's get rid of this. HTC widget. This is part of Sense. This is part of the whole customizability thing. You have a Twitter widget. You can have the full on, full screen Twitter widget, or you can put a little quick reference one that just shows you that you can just type in what you're doing and a little update. So, this is the full. So, this has been the second part of the software review for the HTC Hero. I still have more to come. I have to get into web browsing, to the keyboard, and all these little knickknacks of the phone.